Good morning, yes, I did just put ice in my coffee, so I can't drink boiling hot coffee. And on this beautiful morning, I wanna sit outside and literally just be able to enjoy this now. So um, a top tip that someone in Starbucks once told me was to put ice cubes in it because obviously it's water, so it's fine when you drink, and it cools your drink down quicker. So um, now I do that every morning, and literally I can drink my coffee within like two minutes rather than waiting because literally anything over I don't know, like warm to me is like the sun and literally can't drink it. Uh, so I'm just gonna have my coffee, uh, then we're gonna go to the gym uh, and then I'm gonna come back and do my normal morning routine. Ow. When I say go to the gym, I just mean swimming because it's 7 a.m. No one has got time to be lifting weights at this time. If you have, I'm very jealous. It is a beautiful day. Oh, God, that looks rough. Uh, so we've just finished at the gym. Hello. Hello. That's all you're getting from Adam today. <laughs> Adam doesn't normally do mornings. But uh, yeah, so it is now just going to eight o'clock. So we went in there long, but it feels really nice. And I'm just putting the seatbelt on for safety first. Uh, it felt really nice just to get up and get everything sorted this morning and set myself up for the day. We've only got, how many weeks? Three weeks? Yeah. Until we go away. So every morning counts. Obviously I'm gonna do my hair when I get home because the hair is shite in the gym. So uh, yeah, now I have to go back and take the dogs out. So I always get my hair wet, fresh out of the shower. I don't even, like I literally pad it with a towel so it's still quite damp. And then use a big tooth comb. I've cut these ones out because the way I used to do it, I wanted the thicker teeth, but ignore that. Uh, I've also got a round brush, but I'm not gonna use that today. I'm literally gonna use this comb to show you what I do. So first of all, make sure that everything is straightforward and flat. No hair sticking up behind. So I've had years of practice of this, so uh, I know my head very well. Uh, and then what I'd normally do is dry this bit forward first, but as you get to this section here, start brushing backwards into the style that you want and quiffing this up as well. But you need this bit here to be dry, otherwise you're gonna dry this bit up to then dry it flat again, to then have to dry it up again. So So this time I've got two styles that I do. So I either use some putty um, and literally just put a bit of texture in the top half of it. But if I'm in a rush, I won't even bother doing that. Um, I will literally just use hairspray. This is the only hairspray I use. This is not a uh, paid ad or sponsor. This is genuinely all I use. And if you don't believe me, uh, here is all of the products that I have just off of hairspray. Um, yeah, I think that sometimes it's nicer because it gives you a drier look. Um, my hair is really blonde. When I put hairspray in it, it goes darker. And if I put wax in it, it looks really greasy. So I don't always put this in. It has to be really, really matte paste if I do. And the tiniest amount, I'm talking half of a 5p. Um, so yeah, now my hair's dry. There's still a little bit of dampness in the top just in case I do need to restyle it or anything but um, I don't use a brush at this point because I think it's nicer to use your fingers. Um, obviously you've got massive combs here, so it means that you can get your space. It looks a bit more natural. If you use a comb, you can literally see the brush strokes in it. So um, I personally don't like that look. So now I'm literally just gonna hairspray my hair. So I'm overdue a haircut at the moment, hence why it doesn't uh, look as immaculate as it normally does. But that is it, that's my hair done. I am now all sorted. No sticky up bits at the back. 
this side always have a bit more textured so it doesn't look like I've glued it to my head or a wig um, but that's it um, yeah just a bit of natural height using your hands no plans needed um, and now I'm gonna enjoy my day so now the travel blog is over for a couple of weeks. I thought I would share a day with us. Um, so today is Sunday. Uh, I don't normally work on Sunday. So we're up, we're dressed uh, and have breakfast already. What loser does that on a Sunday? Uh, we're now going to take the dogs out and I thought I'd share our day with us. We've got an exciting day today because our friends are getting married in a couple of weeks time when we go on holiday to Turkey. So we're going to go and try and find a wedding outfit so you can watch me have a meltdown in many shops because nothing fits right or I don't like what I'm wearing um, but yeah I hope you enjoy our day and uh, come along with us. Troy we're going for a walk. We're going for a walk. Come on. Please ignore all the fluff this is this morning's destruction of toys. Frankie pretends she's lead shy and then the minute we're out runs around like an absolute lunatic. Frankie! No, all right then. Bye. In. Oh. Can you make her jump before. <laughs> Good boy. Come in shorty. So we are all set. Look at Frankie behind me. Uh, we're just going to go to the local park in Thorndon. I absolutely love it there. It's really cool. Um, but if you've got kids, it's great because they've got like a gruffalo theme. Um, but we just love it because there's a lake there and it's really pretty. There's goats. If anyone watched previous vlogs, you all know I love a goat. And uh, it's literally like five minutes away from my house. So we're just going to head there now. So we are literally one of the only people here. Say morning, Adam. Morning. Um, so this is Thorndon. It's in the middle. I think it's Brentwood in Gates. It is Brentwood, isn't it? Brentwood. Yeah. Brentwood. Um, so that's what it classes as. But this is really cool because it's got all of the Gruffalo Trail here as well. Nice little cafe. Um, but it's just really fun. So this is Frankie's first time at this park. Troy's been here before, obviously, over the years. Um, but we're going to go and try and find a lake that we know of and maybe attempt Frankie swimming for the first time. So uh, this could be an absolute disaster. Stay tuned. So all around here is characters from the Gruffalo. We only know this because uh, we came here one day with Adam's godchildren. <laughs> So this is such a nice part. There's a north part and a south part. So south is where we normally go, and that's where the lake is that some of Molly's ashes may have accidentally fallen into. Uh, because it's where she used to swim every single day. Uh, but the North is more um, family orientated, I'd say, with the trail and the cafe, that kind of stuff. So it's definitely worth coming to. It's, everything's dog friendly, which is great. You get horse riders around here as well. Um, so yeah, but it's one of our favorite places to come to. And it's just a nice chilled start to a Sunday morning. Get your exercise in your steps, although I've forgotten to put a certain branded watch on, which makes this whole exercise pointless. Show off. So if you don't know our dogs, Troy is the staff. He's 11, turned 11 in May. Uh, he has also recovered from cancer last year, which is amazing. So we had a little birthday party for him in June when we got back from Florida. And then Frankie joined our family in 
September last year, August. August. August it was. Um, and she's just coming up to. Frankie joined us in August, just after we uh, sadly lost Molly. Um, she is coming up to a year at the end of July, so uh, definitely going to be having another birthday party. Um, at Troy's birthday party, I forgot to eat and had to go to bed by seven o'clock. Well, I put myself to bed. So uh, hopefully I'll last a little bit longer at Frankie's one. He's big, isn't it? Good girl, Frankie. What are they, Troy? Hamburgers. We haven't been here for a long time. And we're not quite sure if we've got the right pond. It is there, it is there, it's the third thing. Oh yeah, okay, this is the right pond. We went a different way last time, so it's very confusing. If you're fishing around here, I apologize in advance. Yeah. It's a cobweb. I don't remember it being as big as this pond. Yeah, it was massive. There is a lake at the North Park, South Park, sorry, <laughs> South Park, um, but it's always got loads of fishermen around it, so not very dog friendly, and I always worry that Troy, who isn't the brightest, would uh, get caught up in a line or something, or upset someone, so we've come here just to have a quieter experience and uh, see how it goes. Fancy a swim, no? She's a braver. Molly would have been straight in there. Troy's only just started wanting to swim, kind of, when we go to the beach and can paddle. I think this is a way too deep. Although, well cool picture with the clouds in. So we had zero success with swimming today, but to be honest, I think that water's a little bit deep. So we might go, when we go to Norfolk later in the year, which we normally do a couple of times. Um, we will try there because where they've got like the jetties where they launch all the boats and stuff, it's a lot easier to get in. Troy normally just sits at the top, lays in the water, so his belly's in it to cool down. Um, but we're going to head back now and we don't want it to be too hot for the dogs when we're out. Um, and then we've got to get ready and we're going to head to Braintree today to try and find a wedding outfit. So you can join us there as well. Um, haven't been to there for a, quite a long time, probably since lockdown, because I've had nowhere to go, no reason to buy any clothes. So this is going to be interesting to see what we can find. I haven't even got an idea of what I want in my head because everything I originally planned out, someone else is now wearing. So hopefully we will be successful today. Troy wanted to see the Gruffalo characters, so this is the snake, Troy. What do you think of it, Frankie? Did you die? <laughs> So we would normally stop at the cafe. It's not open just yet, it's very, very early today. But they do like bacon sandwiches, all that kind of stuff. But we're dieting, so uh, not today. Healthy, 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 couple of weeks to go. So we are done dog walking. 
uh, and now I'm going to head home, get ready, and then head over to what's it called? Is it Freeport? Yeah, Freeport. Braintree Freeport Outlet, and see what delights they have in store. So I would normally get dressed up to go out shopping, but I really can't be bothered today. And also, I'm using my brain. It's going to be really hot. So uh, trying clothes on and off is not going to be the best solution. So I've literally chucked on an old Nietzsche top. I've got some night running shorts on, so it's easy to try on different outfits. And then my Air for uh, what like Nike Air Two Seventies because they're really comfy and easy to walk around in. Uh, so we are now going to leave and head to Braintree. No wild parties, okay? Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Because Adam is driving today, uh, so that I can talk to you all, and I'll probably end up driving back. In all honesty, he will. <laughs> um, so my plan in my head, and what I'm hoping to find today, is something that's quite formal still, because although it's a beach wedding, well, it's not a bit like it's an overseas wedding. I don't want to be too casual, but at the same time, I don't want to be freaking hot. I mean, it's going to be in the 40s, I think. Yeah, Turkey in August. Um, so, I don't know how I'm going to find that or what's going to be there. I'm hoping that someone is going to be able to help me and make recommendations. And I don't just mean Adam. Um, so, we are just driving through Billericay and stopped now and then getting... Um, shouldn't take us too long to hope the traffic's gonna be all right today and we literally wait should I think it's just opened at Braintree so we should get there about half ten give us several hours if I need it to try and find the outfit um, but yeah it's very difficult because I wanted to go for like a stony beigey colour but I think the wedding party is having that colour so now I want to try and avoid it but that's really in at the moment and it's also one of my favourite colours to wear so we shall see. Also, wicked with a tan. <laughs> didn't take us too long to get here uh it's queuing to get in the car park but like it's moving quick so it's not too bad no stress or drama today i just hope i can say the same for the shopping experience what are you planning on wearing to the wedding who knows you know how stressful shopping is for me Stressful until we just leave everything to the last minute. Then I don't stress. He does stress. Has an absolute meltdown. About 48 hours, well, no, 24 hours normally. It's actually a really stupid car park. It's got all of these restaurants now outside as well, which looks very good for lunch, which we will not be trying today because I've Got to be on a beach in a couple of weeks. <laughs> so 
already know exactly where I want to go, so I'm just going to hit just Reese first. Because it's normally where I end up and buy everything, so hopefully it'll be a one-stop shop today. This is the trousers that I wanted to buy. I've got this already in a blue, although that is so nice. Adam, what about this? But with some darker chinos. See, I just don't know, because it's not a shirt, is it? That's how on. I'll wear these, like something like this. You just wear a shirt with these and then get a bow tie. So we are gonna attempt these shorts with a linen shirt. That was got me green. And that was got a navy pair with a like a nude colour top, which I'll show you all in a minute, but hopefully it all fits and looks nice. So this is the navy and nude shirt, but I'll show you what it all looks like. <laughs> That was a lot easier than I was expecting. Literally one shop outfit done for me. Literally trying on about four different things, which you will see already. Uh, and now we're trying to see if we can find Adam something. No chance. Now I've got to find shoes to go with it. Adam reckons these ones. I'm torn between blue or brown. Right. Thinking I'd want a darker brown than that, I think. 24. 24. Yeah. He's busy, it's because it's nice and sunny today. We're now going to go into Moss Bros because Adam is not having any luck so far and I just want to make sure that there's nothing that I prefer to what I've already bought. So, we have ended up in Chelmsford. We have tried Primark, next, River Island. Where else have we been? m and John Lewis. Nothing. Literally nothing. What do men even wear anymore? So we're now in John Lewis, hoping that this might be a little bit more successful. But let's see how we get on. I love this colour. And I really like this colour and this colour. Every time I always end up back in this corner. Oh, very cool. What brand are they? Just John Lewis's. Just John Lewis. So that was a bit of a fail. Epic fail. Three hours of parking for less than an hour. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, there is literally just nothing in at the moment. It's so difficult to find stuff. And I think where the crossover of seasons is there as well, which doesn't help. Everyone's seen sale and stuff. It's just rubbish clothing, is not it? an online job and hope for the best when it arrives and try it off but we are now going to go home because I'm starving and need to eat something well I'll pass out in the middle of Chelmsford what do you want so we are now home from shopping we went to Braintree and went to Chelmsford and 
I had a very successful shopping trip. But it did take me four outfits to have a successful one. Adam did not have a successful shopping trip. Zero. Um, it's just so difficult to find anything. There's a bigger size. Well, even just anything that's stylish at the moment, isn't it? It's all just really random stuff in the shops. But I know, although we are debating launching our own clothing brand, although I don't think we can make that happen in three weeks. <laughs> um, and now we're just sitting about to watch a uh, well-known streaming service and our favourite programme, which is Shit's Creek, because we're binge-watching that again at the moment. For the third time. It's so good. And uh, we've now decided that we don't like the living room colour anymore and want to change all that as well. So uh, I don't think you guys have ever seen the living room, so let me share it with you. This picture is from Thailand when we went in 2014 with some friends. It's like gold leaf all over it. It's really lovely, but it wouldn't go with the colour we want to do. Then we've got... Uh, please ignore my drink. That's obviously not normally there. Um... Just it's very, very bit of Essex glam. Obviously, silver frames, cracked mirror light that we now hate. These curtains still love, they're quite new actually. Um, they're really heavy weighted. Uh, as you can see, the garden out there needs a bit of a tidy up. Um, and then our table, we're a bit bored of now, just debating what to do with that. Still love our orchids. Um, and then you've got these two over here. I don't know if we're going to keep them. And just get in, love them. Uh, and then we've got like angled mirrored furniture, TV, uh, wedding photos. Uh, this is my favourite chair. The chair on the back of it is so cool. It's got like um, a lion's head on the back of it. I'll show you what I mean. But uh, it's basically this blue. It's this blue wall. We're not sure of. And then wedding photos, Adam, uh, floating shelves with some prints on that we've had before. But I'm just, I want to get rid of these. Get rid of everything. I want to get rid of the blue. I love our lights still, by the way. These are like mini chandeliers. They are so bright. It's ridiculous. You turn it on, it's like Blackpool illuminations in here. Um, we've had the blind was custom made from John Lewis, I think, or next. 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 Oh, yeah. So really bad. Don't buy it the next. Um but just don't know what to do. I'm thinking of doing the same colour as the kitchen. Frankie's now joined us on the sofa. Um, yeah, just thinking of doing it in the same colour as the kitchen, which we've now gone for a, like a stone finish with black accessories. And I love it. Absolutely love it. I really like the black doors. I like the, just the contrast of it looks really nice. We've got it in our bedroom already. We had that in there from literally when we first moved in. It was the first room we decorated. And we've got a black wall behind the bed and then a stone colour on all the other walls. And it worked really well. Um, the kitchen, I, I love now, although we just need to get some pictures to go on the wall with it. And then, yeah, in here. So to give you an idea of what we want to, this is our kitchen. So always a Disney towel. Uh, it doesn't look that dark in here, but it is actually a stone color. I think it's called moon something. And then we got black mirrors from Ikea just to make the room feel bigger. So, so yeah, this wall used to be blue, like in the living room, and then we hated it. I didn't, I loved it, wanted to change it up, that made the room feel very dark. Went for a, a probably like a sagey green colour after we saw it in a show home when we looked at moving and actually it took me hours, probably the best paint job I've ever done. I hated it the following day. So then waited a while, hating it, changed handles, hated it, and then settled on this, which I absolutely love. And well, I think the brilliant thing, having a white kitchen, you can literally paint the room and change it straight away, which is great. Um, so yeah, this is like a torpy colour, which I'm going to continue out into the hallway as well. But, just flipping you around, these handles are actually from Amazon. I think they cost me like 10 quid for um, the handles themselves. And they made a massive difference. The mirrors are from Ikea. 
they literally were 55 pound a mirror i think but they made a massive difference to the room because um, it felt quite enclosed when you're in the dining area um, yes i know what you're gonna say no we don't sit on this bench unless there's company because no we don't want to watch ourselves eating um, but this is our kitchen i might do a little home tour one day when i get time um, but as you can see very minimal, don't like a lot on the sides. I love these, saw this on TikTok or someone else's Instagram and stole it. Two different treat pots because Troy's got the massive pot. He literally has so many treats. The small one is Frankie's because she's allergic to everything. Uh, and then this is my little uh, Disney purchase, which you'll have seen us buy in the vlogs when we were out in Orlando with our Mickey soap. It's really hidden detail, but it matches the color in here absolutely perfectly. So we used to have chic shadow in our old house and then everyone else bucked on the trend and I got rid of it because I didn't like having what everyone else had, always have been that way. Um, so yeah, I think I do like this colour. I just wonder whether it will be a bit boring in the lounge, but then if I do the same as in here and have the contrast with the black, I think I would absolutely love it. So watch this space, whether we do it or not. The wedding was already planned. But for what it's worth, I am continuously in We have just finished watching this film. Oh my God. I know it's like 2012, but... It is based on the story of the family that were in the tsunami. It's so sad, but an amazing journey as well for them, I think, as a family. Like, not an amazing journey. That's really bad. Not, not in a good way. It's incredible what they went through, is what I mean. But, yeah, we have literally just binge-watched stuff. Finished Shit's Creek, finished this, cleaned the kitchen, had dinner, and now just chilling out. This is what Sunday's all about. So it's the only day we really get off together. We always like to go out and do something in the morning, which was, today was dog walking and obviously wedding outfit shopping. And... Now this is it for the rest of the evening, just chilling and Frankie destroying a toy in the background. If you can hear her chomping away on it. Oh, that's her teeth against some rubbery rope thing that her friend bought us. Troy, very unimpressed. But now we're going to try and find something more fun to watch because that was very thought-provoking and very sad. Uh, and then I've got to go have a little bath. Need to try out my skin regime that I'm testing out at the moment for a company that um, sent me some free products to try. And then uh, just go to bed for fully refreshed for Monday. Mondays are always a fun day. I'm normally off on a Monday, but I've got to work this week. Uh, Adam has a lovely day on a Sunday, don't you, Ad? I do indeed. Not a Sunday, on a Monday. Monday. Um, but yeah, but let's see what else we can find to watch. I don't normally watch mainstream TV, so I know I've seen loads of posts online today about Love Island. We haven't watched a single episode, so I couldn't tell you anything about it or who's in it or anything like that. But... I'd rather watch a comedy or a horror. Okay, change of plan. I'm going to catch up on YouTube instead because there's some loads of vlogs launched today and uh, I'm in the mood to be Disneyed up. LNS Adventures, who have been amazing help for me and uh, promoting my channel when I started doing my vlogs, they answered loads of questions for me, as did Amy Rose Walker. You've all been so helpful and I really, really appreciate it. Uh, they have launched a haul video today for when they was in Florida, so let's have a little watch of that. Hi guys! Hi. Hi. Frankie's decided to throw all of the toys out of her crown bed and is sitting so far back it's almost tipping up. <laughs> and this is Troy's location every evening. 